Okay, what's good my peoples? We're back with another video and I just want to say thank you guys for for watching these videos. The last video in particular got 25,000 views in just three days and for YouTube that's a that's a record for me like uh, my YouTube's very low key but I decided to shed light on a, a topic uh, involving a, you know a very famous artist so I guess it you know draw some attraction to my YouTube page and and now um, my YouTube page is uh, eligible for monetization so uh, I really want to say thank you guys because now I can get paid for speaking speaking my truth and talking my shit I mean like I'm not a big fan of ads but like hey if I'm getting paid for that ads, like I mean, I mean might as well get paid for these ads man I would love to thank you guys you know it felt so empowering to talk about something so personal and have people understand and not criticize me for you know challenging their beliefs on the industry or challenging their their ideas of one of their favorite rappers and stuff like people understood my story and that's really all it was it wasn't anything else it was just sharing my honest story that sparked me to realizing that I have a pretty nice solid fan base I'm not a famous person I'm not famous but I'm relevant <laughs> I wanted to create this video and entitle this video how to create a strong fan base. I have a strong fan base without a doubt and I'm very grateful for it. Very grateful to have, you know, people back me up and support my, my music. So I want to create a video for people who want to know the, the formula to creating that strong fan base. I have my notes because my phone is charging. So uh, the first bullet point is to be yourself. <laughs> you have to be yourself, you know, with whatever you're doing. This applies to anything. It has to come from a true source. Whatever it is, it has to come from a true source. You have to devote your time into understanding why do you want to do this. For example, I'm myself in my music. I'm able to be transparent in my raps. I'm able to do whatever I want with my production. You know, it's for me too. You know, it's for me before it's, I put it out. I don't put out anything that I don't like myself. And people love that because it's genuine. There's a lot of people that do it for whatever sells. I could have been like, oh shit, um, I monetize on YouTube now. So let me create another clickbait video, you know, so I could get some money. You know, that's the wrong way to go about it. That's making the video for money but instead I'll make this video for myself I know that I have to teach instead of making another clickbait video that I could because I, I have mad stories I can share I'd rather teach people do it for the money all the time and that's not the way that's not the way that's just not the way you have to do it for yourself you know you have to do it for yourself money's just paper y'all the next one is you have to stand out from the rest Whatever it is, for example, if it's music, rapping, you have to understand that there's so many people who are trying to enter this field and you have to stand out. No matter what, you have to stand out and stand out by being true. You have to stand out by being true. Don't stand out by being a phony. Don't stand out by, you know, crying for attention. Just you have to bring something to the table that you know that people don't have. Everybody's unique in their own way. So we have to you have to stand out. You have to stand out in order to create this fan base because if you just blend in with all the rest, they're gonna take you and put you in a in a box in the category of other artists if you blend in with them. You have to stand out. You have to know that you're different and you have to not be afraid that I'm different from everyone. I'm my own person. I'm unique. I'm not afraid to stand out. Bro, people Say, oh, that's some Ade shit for whatever. <laughs> it's like, okay, I guess I just stand out so much that I I am my own label. That's some Ade shit. Or, you know, if I produce the beat for somebody, they know it's my beat. They know it's my beat. They're like, that's, that's an Ade beat. I stand out from the rest. So you have to find out what makes you unique and really bring that to life. People love that. People love that. Like DJ Premier. I know exactly when it's a DJ Premier beat. I know what is the DJ Premier beat because his beats stand out. 
you have to stand out if you want this strong fan base. Okay, <laughs> the next one is, you know, slept on. You know, people don't think about this enough, but it's very important. You have to invest in merch. You gotta invest in merch. Invest in merch. Let's say you're starting to, you know, gain a fan base, but you have no merch. You have nothing that people can, can buy physically to take with them. I mean, when they buy it and they get it, they have a part of you physically. Investing in merch is really, really important, especially if it's limited edition. They could be like, oh, yo, I got that Ade Hakeem onto Better Things vinyl. I'm sorry, you, you came too late. They proved to them uh, how, how, how long they've been supporting. They like that. It's just the nature of people. When they feel like they, when they want to ride for somebody, they're going to ride for them. They're going to ride for them. So invest in merch because these people want to support you physically too, not just emotionally. <laughs> that one was just like a sleeper. The next one is you must acknowledge your supporters. It's, it's, it should be a given, right? Uh, yeah, I acknowledge my supporters. But it's very rare these days. I acknowledge my supporters. I acknowledge my supporters. I don't acknowledge the people that, you know, troll. Sometimes I do. But I acknowledge my supporters, most importantly, because those are the people that are pushing me to keep putting out music. I'm always going to make music, but these people want me to put out music. They're not afraid to show their support. <laughs> so, so I acknowledge them all the time. It's very rare for people to acknowledge their support. A lot of people are looking at what kind of support they don't have. Not seeing that there's a whole community that loves loves your stuff. And I'm just saying it down the timeline of like, you know, you've been yourself, you, you make music for yourself, and you are yourself in your music. You stand out from the rest. You invested in merch and people are buying it. So now it's time to acknowledge your support. You, you gotta acknowledge the supporters. Like, that's... That's, you gotta show that you're grateful for these people. Like, you have to, in whatever way. It's the littlest things that make somebody's day. You replying to their comment. They're like, wow, somebody I listened to, I really appreciate their work, responded to me, took the time to respond to me, you know, and then just treat me like I was a, a bot in, this, in, the, in the computer system. These people aren't bots. These are real people. It's very good to, to, to acknowledge them back because when it's, it feels good to get that acknowledgement, but you got to acknowledge the people that support you too because, you know, without them, you know, uh, who knows where we would be. To, the next one is to never discourage anyone trying to walk a similar path as you. I have younger kids reaching out to me saying, hey, I day like, I make, I make beats. I want to send you some music. I will never tell them no. I will never tell them no. That doesn't mean I'm gonna listen to it, but I'll never tell them no. <laughs> I'll never tell them no because I want them to keep going. I do, I want them to keep going. If they feel like that's what they wanna do and I inspire them to do it, then I feel like they wanna do it for, you know, soul purpose, soul searching reasons, like, like how I wanted to do it. So I will never tell them, I will never discourage them. If they wanna rap, I will never discourage them because I needed all the encouragement myself to keep going. Somebody that they really admire and they respect, encourage them to keep going, they're gonna love your stuff even more. It's like the little things that really help people get through life. And somebody that they admire heavily, encouraging them to do the same is an amazing feeling. So never discourage somebody. Never discourage somebody. This is how you keep a strong fan base. I'm telling you, this is how this is how you keep a strong fan base. The next one is to spread the wealth of knowledge. Spreading the wealth of knowledge. You know, this is this is how I created my strong fan base. You know, I'm not gonna say this is the industry way, because you know, a lot of business-minded people don't like to spread the wealth of knowledge. They withhold information because they want to capitalize off of what somebody doesn't know. They withhold information, a lot of information. They don't want you to know everything. They don't want you to know everything. But that's not the way. We're not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to give you, I'm not trying to teach y'all 
or share with y'all how to create a, a strong industry fan base because I don't know about that. <laughs> I know how to create a loving, strong, community-oriented fan base, not a industry fan base. All right, so spreading, spreading the wealth of knowledge is super, super duper important. These people put you up on a pedestal for some reason. You have something that they want from you. And, and we all know that, that knowledge is a true wealth. When it's time to give back, you gotta spread the knowledge. You gotta spread the knowledge, always. And people will love that. They'll always, they'll never forget that, that you shared that with them. The last one is the most important one for me. Because this is not what the industry does. This is not how the industry molds artists because they do the opposite of what I'm about to tell you right now. The, ministry, the industry molds artists a certain way for them to feel, you know, better. But this bullet point is to never, ever put yourself above a supporter. Never put yourself above a supporter. These people got you in the position where you are. Never think that you're above them. These people are holding you up. Without them, you'll, you'll fall on your ass. So never put yourself above them. You, you have to know and always remember that no matter how, how famous you are or how many people know you in the street or whatever, clout, all this stuff, you have to know that you still aren't different from the next person. You're still a human being. Never put yourself above. And, and the reason why I say this creates a strong fan base is because I can act all, you know, loving and, you know, like this on camera, but then when I see somebody I, and they want to acknowledge me as, you know, if, as a fan and I treat them like they ain't shit, they will never forget that. <laughs> they will be like, okay, so this dude I day is not who he says he is on camera. And a lot of people in the industry pretend to be this person. And then when you meet them in person, they just are, you know, big headed, egotistical, asshole and it doesn't match their their personality in front of the camera i always practice to never put myself above anybody any like just any like i'm always acknowledging i'm always acknowledging and recognizing people for being people especially through the internet i, I recognize these people are people showing me mad love i get more love in the internet than you know i'm not gonna say i get more love in the internet than outside but like i get more praise on the internet I get more, um, you know, scrutiny on the internet, <laughs> you know, all, anything is the internet, but I recognize these people are, are people and I never, I never put myself above them regardless if, especially if they're a supporter, like they, they put me in this position. We know to be ourselves, to stand out from the rest, inver investing in merch, acknowledging the support that we get from all that. Never trying to discourage anyone walking in a similar path. Spreading the wealth of knowledge, giving back with the information, and never putting yourself above the supporters. Yes, you did all of this, but never put yourself above supporters. You do this, you do this, all these bullet points, and I guarantee you, you'll have the most holistic fan base ever. You'll, you will. Because anybody who's not who doesn't respect this is not a true supporter. Support is fleeting. You must know that. Support can be very fleeting. You know, I can I could invest in somebody. I can invest my energy and time and support into somebody for for one thing I liked. You know, and then I see that I don't align with everything that they they stand for or they create. So I could, you know, distance myself or go somewhere else and put my supportive energy somewhere else where it needs to be. So support is very fleeting. And but the more that you're true to yourself, the more that you acknowledge these supporters as real people and you give them something to invest in and you feed their brains and you show them love, they're probably not going to leave because that's what people are looking for. <laughs> that's what people are looking for. You know, I can't be on some, yes, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. I have to give. 
I have to give. And I have to give the raw, the, the, pure, the purest form of me. So regardless if people come to, my, to, to, to me to show, show support, I'm always going to be grateful. Even if people comment right now with their criticism, I'm always going to be grateful. Thank you for taking the time to even listen. I acknowledge you as a real human being. When you are supported, you have to support who's supporting you. Regardless, you have to. In the best way that you can. You know, it doesn't go one way. It goes both ways. So if you do this, you'll have a really tight, loving, strong community. It's no longer a fan base. It's a community. And that's what I create every day. That's what I create every day. That's how I was able to live off of selling beats. I, I, I started to actually realize that I don't need to seek industry validation. I don't need to do what he's doing. I don't need to do what she's doing because I have my own way. I stand out and that I acknowledge my supporters so I'm gonna just keep going. I don't care if I have five supporters, I'm gonna keep going. I don't care if I have a, you know, zero supporters or one, one supporter, I'm gonna still keep going. I, I acknowledge that support coming from one person, I'm gonna keep going. So this gave me more freedom not worrying about being validated by the industry or people who dream of being in the industry and realizing that I'm different and realizing that people are different too. And people want to hear my perspective and want to, to listen to my music because I'm different. So I should keep doing that and I should keep being grateful and keep honoring my supporters. Do this and you will have a holistic fan base. And I'm out of here, for real. I'm out of here, more content coming. But you know, people need this. People need this because people need the reminder of why, if you don't want this, you shouldn't be doing it. If you just want money, all right, go ahead, do it. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. But you, when, when you, if you just get money, if you just get money, if you do everything that the industry wants you to do and you just get money, you do all this and you don't care about your supporters or nothing. When shit hits the fan, like Kendra said, when shit hits the fan, are you still a fan? You know that you be, you, you're willing to sell yourself for the industry. The industry don't care about you. They're just going to use, 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 use. And then once they're done with you, they throw you into the sharks, man. And all the, you didn't care about the people that were supporting you along the way. They're not going to be there anymore. That's why it's very, very important that you acknowledge the people that actually support you for what you, what you did and never forget that. So when you're no longer doing it for yourself, you're doing it for somebody else. And if you're not doing it for yourself, then people aren't really going to respect you. Because, you know, the truth always comes to I don't want to be, I don't want to like be redundant or keep repeating myself. But if you do it for yourself, you know that you're not different from, from the next man. And you acknowledge them, regardless if they can give you something or not. You know, it's not like, hey, you're just a supporter. You don't, you don't sign my checks. No, but they helped you get to that position to, for you to even get <laughs> a check. You feel me? So, um... It, it gets really deep, y'all. It gets really deep. So for all my people wanting to use their voice, to use their creative energy, to spread a message, know that your fan base is everything. It's everything. These are the people that are choosing to ride with you. They're popping out. Okay, so here, I can say this. I've been making music for like seven years now. So there's a lot of people that I came across, millions, I think even billions of people that I've came across, like high and by type, like, you know. Man, there's so many people that come, come back out of the blue, like, yo, I remember you. And if I was bitter, if I was bitter, <laughs> if I was bitter about whatever predicament I was in before, I would say, oh, these people just showing up you know, these people are just showing up because I'm talking about Earl and blah, blah, blah. Nah, it's not about that. It's not about that. It's about 
sharing my story is a journey and that these people are you know grateful to even be a part of the journey they're honored to even know you so there's no there's no there's no need to even feel that bitterness that these people are you know coming back into your life in moments where it seems like you know they're you know just being selfish look past that look past that and, and just see that they're honored to know you they're honored to be a part of your life and they gave you their support and they gave and they give they gave you their energy so my thoughts are kind of scattered all over the place now that I'm, I'm i'm going off the book but it's just like yeah sorry they gave you their energy at one point in life they gave you their support all support matters undying support you know like people supporting through throughout everything or just some people you know popping in in and out to support that's is you know you can never be selfish with with how you get support because you're not always going to get support from one person from that one person all the time you know people got to go support other people and most importantly support themselves so but they'll come back if they're a true supporter they come back after you know you you got shit popping for yourself don't get mad at that actually be humble that you could they they're reminding you of your your roots of where you came from so always acknowledge your supporters even if they're coming back after, you know, moments of, you know, celebration. Celebrate with them by acknowledging them and make them feel like they're a part of it because they were. This is how you acknowledge your supporters in the best way. Oh, when I blow up, I'm gonna change up on these niggas, man. You know, nah, it doesn't matter. Like, or it's like, when I blow up, don't, I don't want nobody asking me for nothing. You know, switching up on me, nah. It's not about that. Just be grateful, bro. <laughs> Just be grateful. You know, if, if your success is authentic, you won't even have to worry about people acting funny. Because it's only that inauthentic success that makes people act funny. Only. So if it's authentic and you didn't do any weird industry thing to, you know, boost your, your fan base, you should have control over you know how you feel about these people you should be monetizing how many people support you every day you should you should you should take it that's, that's that's a part of being independent you should you should take the time to to see who's who's fucking with you at the moment yeah so that's pretty much everything i covered everything that i need to i just want to say always appreciate your supporters that's how you know the fan base gets tighter and it becomes more of a community always remain true to yourself so you know you know the people who support you but then like haven't checked up on you in a minute come back and they see your true you still being your true self but you just evolving you know people will love to see that and never be upset that people wasn't there the whole way some people are going to be proud and inspired that you evolved and the matrix and the industry and all these people they want you to build an ego they want you to be like oh well you wasn't here when i was you wasn't here when i was blah, blah. you know they want you to they want to feed that ego they want you to remove yourself from the community they want you to feel bigger and better than them when that's just removing yourself from the community that supports you and holds you up so you guys are what you guys are what inspired this video to be Without you guys, I wouldn't have made this video because I wouldn't know what support was like. But I get supported by y'all, and I really support you for real. Um, and shout out all my people trying to, you know, come up and making music and stuff. And I support you guys through it for real. So thank you.